My name is Alex Whitney, and on my YouTube channel, by far the most popular video is this one. Uh, a set of Corsa Logitech G29 wheel settings guide creating an LUT file, a LUT file. I did this four and a half years ago when I was setting up my G29. I've been play I played games for a couple of years, and then I sort of drifted away. Since then, I've completely wiped my computer, and recently plugged back in my G29. Um, so seeing as I'm starting fresh with the settings, what better guide than myself to show me how to set up my wheel? Because I genuinely can't remember. I get lots and lots of great uh, you know, questions, input, interactivity. Yeah, 116 comments. That's way more than, my, than any of my other videos. And luckily, people in the comments help each other uh, because I can't help them. If, if it doesn't work for whatever reason, I can't remember what I did to get it working. Uh, so I'm going to follow the video. Hopefully it's going to show me what I need to know. And if it doesn't, then we'll go for it and just see if it still works, basically. Uh, four and a half years later. So um, let's get into it. Let's see. Hello, everyone. This is going to be another settings video for the G29, the Logitech. And this is going to be for a Seto Corsa. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't... A Seto Corsa? A Seto? A Seto? I don't, I don't know. I'm not Italian. I don't know. Um, this one sexy and funny. Still am. This one is a little bit, it's took me a while compared to the other settings videos that I've done and what I'm going to do in the future. A lot of them are relatively simple. I take a little bit of getting used to and you might have to practice. So I've done two videos, I think, at that point. And I was going to do more, but I just didn't for whatever reason. I did an F1 settings guide and a dirt rally settings guide and they were just fine-tuning the settings it wasn't really like changing anything major like this is um, in the bank cars and go through you know go through emotions like you do with a wheel this one took a little bit more stuff um but it does work it works really really well so this I is going to so. be an explanation kind of of um lut generation using wheel check so first thing i didn't i don't think i ever explained what an lut is you probably heard of them if you like uh, do photo manipulation or video stuff. It's just a lookup table. It's just a table of numbers that says, if it's this, do this instead. Uh, and what it's doing with the wheel is it's just going, if it's in this position, do this position instead. Roughly. The thing you want to do is all the links are in the description um, to help you out. And that hopefully makes it more realistic in terms of driving. Um, it produces a lookup table what we're doing, it produces a lookup table for this specific wheel, the wheel that you've got. So if you go into a set of Corsa, and you go to options, and it's really good, you go to controls, and then you can just, oh look, configurations. Oh brilliant, Logitech, D29, shifter, no shifter, hate shifter, oh brilliant, excellent, click. And then you, and you're driving it, and it's like, this doesn't feel quite right. Something feels a little bit dodgy, and the reason is because the force feedback isn't quite set up right. Um, so what you want to do is, Go into your set of Corsa, click which one you have, whether you have a shifter or not, I have a shifter. Now I've done this and I don't want to mess it up, so I'm not touching anything, but I will take you through the steps to do it. Um, minimum Thanks, force Alex. zero. These curb effect, road effect, slip effect, ABS effect, these can be changed to your preference. Um, look them up to see what they are. It's basically just rumble effects, curb and road, uh, slip effects and ABS effects. Right, let's let's open a set of Corsa. Is it on there? No. Right, there we go. This is the first time I've loaded this. Probably should have loaded it before I started the video. Right, whilst that, uh, are a little bit those are loading, let's have a look. Leave through. these off, don't invert, and leave gain to 100%, and then don't touch gain after. Filter I got to 26%, I've forgotten what filter. Oh, there you go. Removes force feedback spikes. 26%? I don't know. It works for me. I don't know. Main controls, again, I don't have a handbrake, you know, a proper handbrake. Thing, so. Sorry. Um, but I have the clutch and the brakes all set up, and they should. No, they're still working. Cool. Um, so do that. Leave that. Combine with keyboard input. I like that because then you can turn on the lights and do stuff uh, with the keyboard as well. So now... Right. Let's go back and make sure we've got all that set for what he says, i.e. me. Leave that. Combine with keyboard input. I like that because then you can turn on the thing, so... What filter? Oh, there you go. Removes uh, force. Don't touch. They are. It's basically just rumble effects, curb and road, uh, slip effects, and ABS. Okay. Right. Where are you? Ah, oh, it's not done yet. So I bought a uh, GT Omega, 
wheel stand for my wheel before it was on my desk. In fact, it was on, was it on this desk in front of me? No, it wasn't. It was on a different desk. And that was fine. But um, it gets in the way, doesn't it? <laughs> you've, got, you've only got one desk. It's kind of a bit annoying. Um, so I bought that along with a chair. And hopefully that means that I can do racing videos. Please peruse my other videos if you're watching this one. And um, we'll see. Oh, go on. Let's just let's, we'll come more. back okay. to this. Let's have EV's a look what he says. Don't. So now we want to get out of a set of Corsa. We want to download Wheel Check. The link's in description. Right, the link is in description. Here it is. It's the Dropbox. People have been saying that this didn't work. Um, it's here. You don't need to sign in. Like, uh, if you click on it. All right, I said, oh, so jeez. <laughs> we are overly dramatic. I forgot, I, uh, I forgot that, that intro music. Right, hopefully it'll just go to the, the settings menu. Otherwise, I'll, I'll try and window it down, if not. Italiano. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Controls. There we are. Right. Uh, is it you? Is it? What's mint? What's? I always forget the controls. Uh, video. Hmm? I just want. Full screen rendering, rendering row. Wow, that's cool. Uh, alt. Oh, or whatever. I'll just, um, yeah, skip intro video. Get that one on now. Don't want to force 32 bit. Okay, I'll just, I'll just go back and forth between it. Uh, wheel custom. So we have a Logitech G29 with shifter. Apply preset. Seems to be working. Where's the throttle? Uh, throttle was inverted, wasn't it? One. Yeah, so I want to invert it. There we go. Brakes again, invert. Do not want to combine clutch, invert. I don't want to invert that, do I? No, okay. Degrees of rotation should be 900, I believe. Uh, handbrake, I do not have a handbrake. Shifters, uh, gear shift up, gear shift down. I'll just do that for now. I can always go back and change that stuff. Right, I can go back and change that stuff. Here we go. This is the bit that, that I wanted to actually look at. So 100% gain. Don't invert. Filter 26. That's exactly the same. Minimum force 12. Minimum force 0. Interesting. Curb 50. No, curb 12. Uh, road effects 20. Move that down again. Slip effects 10. Yep. And ABS effects 21. Cool. Combine with keyboard impact. Break gamma 2.4100. Perfect. Okie dokie. Saved controller configurations. Enter name for configurations. One. Save current. One saved. Gain after right, handbrake. So, uh, where were so we? we go to download. Of a set of Downloads, yes. We so, want to oh, okay. download wheel check. So the last time I did it just, just now, it came up, do you want to sign in? You just click the X button. You don't need to sign in. Um, download. Oh, maybe you do. Ah. Accept all. Download. No, you don't. Okay. So I was just, <laughs> let's put it on the desktop just to make it easier. I don't want to sign in. The link's in description. Go in folder. And we want to run wheel check. So we go to Let's download. Extract you, have to, it. you have to unzip it. It's a zipped program. And then if I can bring there it, it down. You want to pick which one you've got. 
Okay. There's only one because I've only got one thing made in. And then you want to go down to step log to linear, linear force, force test. test. Okay, cool. And you want to then, once you've clicked on that, as the description can see, as you can see in this, which is Max count uh, 50. put the links ah, in. Ah, I it's moving. Come up with it moving this. by it's itself. Just from the internet, but I know videos help a lot ah. of people compared to reading big scrolls of writing. Um, max count 50. Put it in 50. It worked for me. It was fine. Um, and then the wheel will start doing stuff. It'll start going by itself, uh, making horrible noises. And then it'll stop. And it won't. This uh, wheel check won't won't say it's done, won't say it's finished, won't say where it's put anything. What you then have to do is close that and go to your documents folder. So my documents, your normal this PC, documents. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> I was and just going to show you a, when a, um, doing stuff, but it's just file Right at the bottom here. And it'll be numbered and called something stupid. What you want to do then is download the look generator, which again is here on this. There it is. Oh, it's moving again. <laughs> it, is, it is moving, it is moving. That's just me. Look, it's moving. Doing stuff by itself. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm not going mad. You're mad. Uh, no, wrong way. Oh, wait. Uh, sorry. There we go. Cool. Okay, so it's still doing stuff in the background. Creating um, these files here. Cool. And that'll look like this. Again, extract it. Uh, look, look generator. So we'll check. Okay, uh, I missed where he downloaded. Where did I download that from? Which again? Oh, it's right at the top. On this. There it is. I literally show... Oh, it's not there anymore. Ah, login. Login or register an account to download this content. Well, this would be interesting. Oh, you can log in with Twitter and stuff. Okay, right. I'm just gonna pause that whilst that's doing that and and log in. I want to see if I actually have a login because I might actually have a login. No. Try again. No, not that one. Problem is with like stuff like this where you've logged in maybe once or twice is you one you forget. Um, but also, I uh, don't want to, no, I don't want to register. Log in Google. Username. Phoenix. And then date of birth. It's still doing stuff. It's so weird. Team, the wheel, wheel, oh no, we're still going. <laughs> okay, so I logged in with Google. Uh, yeah. Downloads up in the corner. Uh, desktop, yep, let's do desktop and then show in folder and we'll unzip it again. Uh, extract here, please. Look generator, cool. Right, now tell me what I need to do past Alex. Um. And that'll look like this. Again, extract it. And it'll be this. Very simple. And what you do is you click that and you click open. So you go to your documents, go straight down to the bottom, you'll find the CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet. Click open and it'll convert it into an LUT file. Has you it finished? To How do you know when it's finished, Alex? Documents, take Alex. that LUT file and put it in. So I think it's finished. So if it works, yes. There they are. 
I do them all? Do I do them all, Alex? Alex! Documents, set to. Go back to your documents, take that LUT file, and put it in. So, so you go to your documents, go straight down to the bottom, you'll find the CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet. Click open. Let's have a read, see if I need to do it. Uh, open the CSV generated by will check, save the generated LUT. Extract it, download and run now. Open the CSV that was just generated by will check. Ah, is it separate? But it's like a bunch. Do you do the old one or the new one? <laughs> Antivirus kills them sometimes, so keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, antivirus seems to nick a lot of stuff. Like, I can generate the CSV files, I just can't... Um... Okay. Let's just try it. Crazy one dot lut. Uh, oh, oh, actually, it's gone into the config files. It's set, trying to save it in the config files for uh, set of courses. That's kind of cool. Um, one, two. Pick better names. Oh, look at that bad boy. <laughs> That's kind of cool seeing that. So the raw one, the smoothed one, and the luck generator. Curve. Awesome. So that's showing you what it's, it's, you know, what's really happening, which is the light pink, uh, the smoothed corrected version, which is the red, so hopefully make it a little bit better, and then the LUT generated curve to counteract what's going on. Cool. Now, did that just use that one? Should I have done that one? Try again, see. Oh, wait, wrong. Wrong one. So let's try the bottom one. Let's try that and call that one 2 1. Spell one wrong way. Ah, look at that. That looks very different. Huh. This is very interesting. So, which one? Cool, so it does, it's got some spike. Uh, for example, my luck. My luck, yeah. Save a generated LUT in my documents, accessible folder, e.g. my LUT. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm really interested. I don't know which one would work better. So I'm just finding the... Um... Where are you, Steam? Oh, yeah, I save all my games in a different place, don't I? So I'm smart like that. Uh, Steam library, there we go. Uh, set a Corsa, there we go, config. And... Look at all this stuff in there. Ah, so it didn't save it in, in the... <laughs> Where on earth did it save it? <laughs> Where did it save it? Let's try again. Okay, so let's do... Let's do the bottom one. And um, we're going to save it docu documents, a set of course. Oh, it's like saved its own little. What? Okay, whatever. Um, 
Steam library, Steam apps, common, set a Corsa, config, let's call it my LUT, save, quit. There it is, it's now there, so that's good. Open FF post process. Oh, I'm, re I'm not following my video. Convert it into an LUT file. You then want to go back to your documents, take that LUT file, and put it in. So, documents, set a Corsa, CFG, and you want to put it in here. And I've retitled mine called My LUT, My LUT, My Lookup Table. And there it is. That's not the last thing you need to do. Then you need to go into FF post process and you need to change it to look like this. So you want So let's pause that and have a look. Uh, so header version one type LUT. Enabled one, gamma 0.5, and then it was my LUT, my LUT, my LUT. Perfect, save that, close it. You want the LUT curve, and you want it to point to what it is. So, L oh, I haven't got my cursor on. Oh, I've been pointing at things with my cursor and I haven't got my cursor on. Hopefully you can still see what I'm pointing at. That's Alex getting at. is lame. Um, so let's start from the top. It's just then. not Header, cool anymore. version one, I type mean, LUT, enable one. It's super one. cool now. Gamma, you want to be 0 0.5 value, and then LUT curve equals my LUT dot LUT, which is what you've called it, which is here. Very nice. And then you think, ooh, is that it? And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I've put, put a Reddit um, thread in here as well, which goes through pretty much Still everything. And it does a really good job. But that is basically it. Once you've done that, it kind of works. So let's go back into here. Let's go. You're not going to let me do that. Um, Did I turn it off or not? In terms of controls, I basically left everything else the same. Uh, so, and then save it as something. I saved it as Alex G2, G29. Quick to desktop, um, just so it like reloads it. Screen. To see there we go, big screen, cool. So, then you want to test it. And I know you might be thinking, how do I know? Well, I go to practice, I select a car that I'm used to. Um, it sounds a bit odd, but the Audi S1, I drive an Audi A2, and Not through anymore. some odd, mm, sad. you know. Mm. I drive a Jeep, mental a gymnastics. Real man. <laughs> I know how to drive an Audi S1. I drive an Audi A2, which is like uh, the what was I doing? fuel efficient, shitty family car version of the A1, and the S1 is the version, the sports version of the A1. So by like, cut, as close as, as, as close as I'm gonna get. Then pick a, a track that you're relatively familiar with. It doesn't really matter. I like Silverstone 1967 just because it's um, fun. Assists, I have them all off, basically. Uh, just because it, it feels better. Sometimes the assists can kind of fuck you up. And immediately, uh, literally immediately, from doing this, it was like a like a different wheel. It felt completely different. It was, um, oh, sh no, it should still work. I hate that Assetto Corsa, or AC, or whatever you call it. It has two programs, and it has the launcher, and then it goes into the game. So when you're doing, trying to capture stuff, it's not, not entirely happy about it. Let me try. Oh, weird. It doesn't even think it's there. Oh, hello. Hey. Hey, right. Um, I don't have my sound on, so I can't hear the gears, but there you go. I think it's working. Nope. <laughs> anyway, if this was capturing it, let's try game capture. Oh, this is a perfect, perf this is a perfect introduction to... Dreaming. <laughs> how, how things can seem perfect. There we go. It's just created it's one funny, now. It's, that's, that's a strange... So. That's strange. Anyway, it works. It works nice. Um, like I said, I can't hear the gears, but the force feedback feels let's create, right. Let's create another one. That lookup table obviously needs... The game needs to know what wheel you're using, and despite having the settings pre-made, it just doesn't it doesn't feel right in the normal setting. So I don't know how it works, but I know that it does. And um, although I don't drive, oh, oh no, 
Oh, I don't drive an S1 in real life. Oh, God. Uh, and and for obvious reasons, because I would kill myself. Um, when, playing the, when playing the game, it feels... That it looks very good, similar, doesn't it? Uh, despite not being able to drive properly. Anyway, hope that helps. Like hope I said, links are all in the description. And um, despite me being a terrible driver, maybe you can maybe you can get it better. And if you've got any settings that you like and you prefer, um, put them in the comments and tell me about them. Say, oh, you know, if you see something. Like I said, I'm getting, still getting used to this. These settings videos are just as much for me as for other people. That was very true. So yeah, tell me if you like it. Um, and um, tell me what I should change and how, my driving technique, which is awful. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, catch me on streams and the backups on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Bye. What a beautiful video. Well, wow, that definitely showed that. Um, yeah. So when it when it created that lookup file that time, I did it a second time. It only created one. Maybe they were there already? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if it worked. Uh, what's that? Oh, no, 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 no. Safe, 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 safe and close. <coughs> see if this works. Oh, I should probably turn you down to normal. So usually I have my... um. Nope, wrong one audio for my games a lot lower because it makes sense what do i have it on 29.4 but i had that uh video up much louder because of reasons okay that should work let's see um main menu let's just go into the uh, settings just make sure the controls are set up how i did it uh, yes. I don't think I did the uh, the shifters, but I'll do that at some other point. Let's do a practice. Let's select a car. Why not? Let's do the Audi, what was it, A1? S1, sorry. Yep. And Monza makes sense, but let's, let's keep it, let's go traditional and let's find Silverstone. Uh, 1967, so the old course wasn't that, which is more like an oval. Start engines! Now, <laughs> I don't have the wheel set up in front of my TV. So, um, I, I have uh, multiple monitors. It's probably the easiest way to put it. So, <laughs> I'm going to be facing the wrong way when I'm driving. I'm going to be driving like this. With the, with the, with the wheel in front of me, but my... Mm, Oh, there's always something, isn't there? Oh, win yes, allow access. It's a bloody game. It was fine. It's bloody awkward because of where I am. Um, but, uh, yeah. It works! It works! Oh no, that's not a quote. What's the quote? It's working! Oh, have I got all my gears on? Why? I don't know. It's also uh, KPH as well, which is just not... Oh yeah. Is this... That is the exact same corner that I crashed in on the other video. Spooky. Um, yeah. It feels good. Uh, the only other game I've played on before doing this video uh, with it set up on this computer was NASCAR uh, Heat. NASCAR Heat 5. And um, how many gears have I got? Six. Cool. Uh, guys, 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 guys. Break, break, break. Uh, I'd have been overtaken about five times. Right, perfect. It works. Uh, the video, the video works. Um, if you're watching this update rather than the original video, there are a few little quirks, and I'm sure on everybody's system it'll um, work differently. 
Look at that Reddit thread. Look at the... Um, look at the Reddit thread. Look at the uh, racedepartment.com uh, webs... Uh, you know, the downloader thing. I, I, it works. It worked really well. Uh, and I hope it works for you. Um, any questions? Put them in the comments. Maybe on the original video because it seems that a lot more people watch that one and are a lot more um, able to help. Uh, but yeah, I will be doing more um, of these settings videos as I set up this wheel with different games. And um, join me on Twitch for some racing or follow the YouTube channel for stuff pretty much unrelated to racing games. So, you know, it's one of those, isn't it? This is a long video. I'm going to say bye. Bye, everyone.